I'm Larry Walther. This is PrinciplesofAccounting.com, Chapter 17. In this module, we will consider the key production cost components that consist of direct material, direct labor, and factory overhead. The definition of these terms is quite important, so let's look closer at what we mean by the term direct materials. Direct materials are materials that form an integral part of a finished product and that have a physical presence that is readily traced to that product. In other words, you can physically see and touch that particular material component in the final finished product. An example might be the cost of a printed circuit board included in a computer. Importantly, some costs that might be physically present in the finished product but are not material are considered to be indirect material cost. For example, small strands of wire, solder, things of this nature. They are simply not practical to trace or account for on a product by product basis. And so we include those immaterial cost components as part of our factory overhead that I'll define better in just a moment. Another key cost component is direct labor. Direct labor consists of wages paid to those who physically and directly work on the goods being produced. Example might be the wages paid to a welder in a bicycle manufacturing plant. Importantly, there are many factory workers who don't directly work on a product. Their wages are not considered to be direct labor. This would consist of a plant guard, janitorial support, things of that nature, important factory costs but not direct labor, those components are considered to be indirect labor. The third key manufacturing cost component is manufacturing overhead. Examples include indirect materials and indirect labor, as I just referred to, as well as other factory costs, such as factory depreciation, insurance, utilities, taxes, things of this nature that relate to the actual manufacturing facility. These costs are difficult to trace to specific products but are clearly an important cost that must be incurred to produce the final product. Sometimes terms are used to describe these costs when they are grouped together. For example, the term prime cost is meant to refer to direct material and direct labor. Another term that's often used is conversion cost. Those are the costs that are necessary to change raw materials into finished goods. That would consist of direct labor and manufacturing overhead. There are many important non-manufacturing costs that also need to be considered. Broadly speaking, we can define these costs as selling general and administrative costs. They are not manufacturing and they are not part of manufacturing overhead. They are period expenses that we don't try to attach to a particular product. But selling general and administrative costs can be very significant. It would include uh, key management salaries, accounting departments, purchasing departments perhaps. All of those formulate that large cost category called selling general administrative costs. Now, these definitions are foundational for your further study of managerial and cost accounting and we'll introduce some additional terms within the next module.